This is how I have started every single day of 2020. Directly out of bed, I put on my running clothes, have a glass of water, and then I head out running. So this is the last day of the year and me starting to run means that I have accomplished my goal of doing this for 365 days in a row. And I almost can't believe that I managed to do this for a full year. And I thought you guys would get to join me during this last morning run of the year. And during the run I will also tell you about why I started doing this in the first place. And also I will tell you about the challenges I faced during the year. And finally I will tell you about what happened to my body during this year. It's really not the nicest weather today. It's like zero degrees and now the snow has shifted to rain. Let's just say that I'm glad that not every day of the year was like this. But let's start to talk about the why. So first of all, I think it's super important to have a why. Whenever you set out to do something, if you don't have a well-grounded answer to the question why, it becomes a lot harder to get it done. Especially on days like this when the weather is far from optimal and it would have been so much nicer to just lay down in the warm bed and not go out here. It's uh, the why that uh, gets me out here. My first why is pretty simple. It's just that I really like to start the day with a morning run. And this started way back when I was 13 years old. And some days I tried to go out to run in the forest before getting to school. And I found out that it was such an incredible way to start off the day. You felt so much more energized through the day in, this, in school. and. Uh, just the feeling of getting to school and knowing that I have done something good for myself. I have got a workout in and uh, yeah, I just really like the feeling of feeling how my body comes awake when I'm out running and uh, especially if I can do it out in the nature. It's, uh, it's just a great start to the day. My second why is that I become so much more productive throughout the day if I just get to start the day with a run. Even if it's a short run of 10-20 minutes, I do better work and I can keep focused for so much longer if I just had some physical activity to, to start the day. The final reason to why I decided to do this in 2020 was that the start of the year wasn't that great for me because I just found out that I had some problem with my heart and during this time the doctors were investigating it and trying to find out what it was and I was recommended to not continue to do any tough workout or any high intensity runs. So this was pretty emotional for me because I was of course really scared about what was going on with my heart but also it's uh, such a big part of my identity to be to be an athlete and to be able to push my physical limits and that is so much of what I love to do is about uh, being out and running and I figured that if I was allowed to at least do low intensity training I thought it was a good idea to at least start every day with a short run. That way I would get a feeling that I can at least start every day with doing something uh, that I love and uh, it uh, was also good for my mind to, to get that feeling of that I'm training even if I at that period wasn't doing any serious training because of, uh, of my heart. It was quite important this, uh, this morning runs uh, for me. So that's my different whys to why I decided to do this. So let's run home and then I will tell you about the challenges I faced during the year and also how this turned out and <laughs> what happened uh, to my body during the year. So let's get home before I freeze to death in this horrible weather. <laughs>
that coffee tastes so good after I run out in the cold. And that's one final reason to do morning runs is that the morning coffee tastes so much better after I run. Let's talk a bit about the different challenges I had to face to be able to finish uh, this thing that I set out to do. So first of all, I was worried about catching a cold because when you're sick and have a cold, you should of course not uh, run. And uh, as far as I can remember, I have never gone through a whole year without, without catching uh, one single cold. So this uh, worried me quite a bit, but uh, uh, I can very happily say that this is the first year, as far as I can remember, that I have not been sick one single day. I don't know why this is, but uh, of course I try to eat well, sleep well, and also spend as much time in the forest as pos possible, which is actually something I learned this year that it also boosts uh, the immune system. The other big worry I had was that I was going to get injured. And uh, since I started training more seriously when I was about 15 years old, uh, I have also here never gone a single year without getting at least one injury that uh, have prevented me from uh, running uh, for at least uh, a week or so. But also here I can say that uh, this year I have had no running injuries whatsoever. Of course I've had uh, some aches here and there in the foot uh, and in the knee and so on, but it, it has never been something that I have completely taken me off uh, from running. So that's really another big win this year that I have been able to be injury free for a whole year. Let's talk a bit about what happened during this year where I ran every single day. First of all, it quickly became a lot easier getting out of the bed and going out for a run. Uh, and I think this was just because I had decided that this was something I wanted to do every single day. So when I woke up in the morning, it, it was not a question if, uh, if I was going to do it or not. Uh, before I had so many times been laying in the warm bed debating with myself if I should go out in the cold and run or not and quite often you lose that debate but now i knew when i woke up that okay i will start this day with a morning run and uh, that made it so much more easy to just get out there and also quite quickly it became a habit so i i, I didn't think that much much of it at all it's, it's something i do uh, at the start of every single day but that being said, it has not always been super easy getting out of the bed uh, this year. Uh, I remember one uh, specific occasion where I was going to, to travel abroad for a job. And I think the plane uh, left uh, 7 in the morning or something like that. And I had to wake up at 4 o'clock. And knowing that I had to wake up like 15-20 minutes earlier to go out uh, for a run in the dark. Uh, it wasn't super easy but I got it done and uh, also that travel day became a lot better when I was sitting on an airplane and in a car and so on because I had started the day with a run so even those runs uh, I don't regret, regret them and uh, you probably know yourself that, that you never really re regret a run a couple of months into 2020, the doctors had investigated my heart uh, problems more and uh, they found out that I have a heart condition that I was born with but I was very happy to find out that it's nothing acute, dangerous and uh, I was also told that I was allowed to start uh, training more seriously again and start pushing my body because tough training wasn't going to make my heart condition worse so I was very happy to slowly start to increase the volume and intensity in my training again. After just a couple of weeks of serious training I decided to test my shape so I did a all out 3000 meter track uh, session and I was very glad and also quite surprised that I did a huge new PR of 9 minutes and 3 seconds. So at least uh, I had kept my shape very good uh, doing just these morning runs and some other easy sessions. As I mentioned before, another really cool thing that happened this year was that I managed to stay injury free. And I actually think that these short morning runs have something to do with that. 
because with this, these short runs you every single day load the tendons, the muscles and all the different structures that needs to be strong to be able to run a lot. And keeping this uh, consistency in the load I think is a really good thing. Of course you should always be careful about overuse injuries and so on, but running injuries often occur when you increase your training load a lot and you haven't run that much before you do that uh, increase. So that I think helped me keep injury free throughout the year and uh, that was just great because I love to run and then uh, you hate uh, to be injured and I've been injured so much throughout my uh, life as a runner. So to sum this up a bit, I'm super happy that I decided to do this little experiment to try to run every single day and to start the day with a run. And I have decided that I will continue. I see no reason in stopping this uh, habit that has been so good for me and uh, has improved my life in, in so many ways. So uh, not only in the running aspect, I also think that uh, I have been a lot more productive at work because of this really good habit. And even those really bad days where everything goes wrong and you're not productive and you don't get so much things done, I at least know that I did one good thing that day. I went out for a run. So I know this maybe isn't for everyone to start every single day with a run, but uh, I recommend you to try it and uh, at least to do it some days because I think uh, uh, all of us can benefit from a little bit of physical activity to, to start off the day. I would like to end the video with thanking you guys for watching my videos during 2020 and I really hope you stick around for 2021 because I, I have some pretty cool plans for this channel and I would really like to put out more content uh, for you. And if you're new to this channel, I would appreciate it a lot if you hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. And if you would like to support me even more, I have set up a Patreon page where you can support me so I can make even more inspiring videos for you guys. So there's a link to that in the description to this video. With that said, thanks for watching, train hard, have fun, and I will see you in the next video. Go, go, go.